Hey, what's up? We got TTE Naughty in the building, man. What's up, man? Oh, God. Y'all know how I'm rocking. Y'all know what it is, bro. They know what's going on. What's up with you, though? You making a lot of noise out here, bro. You doing some big things. You doing... I've seen a lot of those videos, man. Over a quarter million views. You doing... Doing some big things out here. Man, mm -hmm. two months, I didn't drop like almost a 14 meal though. Nice. No nice. cap, no cap. No, 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 I'm doing I'm doing 10K like in hours. Like that shit don't even until I see like I ain't gonna lie, a hundred K in two days, that's cool, but I done seen three hundred K. So my goal would be just reaching all the way, but I ain't gonna count though, big bro. Like I'm the reason I say I'm the king of this shit because I'm different. Like, I ain't searching for clout. It's like when the celebrities put their shit up in the, in the, in the mind, like, it just, I speak on it the hardest because I didn't been through it. Yeah. So when I didn't been through it, it's going to hit harder than anything. I never cheated the code to get here. I never cheated nobody. I never paid for big futures because that shit don't work out right, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. That shit don't work out right. When you up and coming and you try to sit down with, like, that Shit ain't gonna work right, right, I swear to God. But yeah, TT90, one of the best in the game. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, man. So well, let's get into your backstory a little bit, man. So you're originally from Austin or where, or yeah. where are you? Are I was you? originally born and raised in Austin, Texas. Okay. So how how did you become TTE90? Like, hey, we all started uh, school to do our thing, but eventually we're progressing to- I would, I've been rapping. My mom bought me a karaoke, but I went to the feds. I went to the feds like I was 21 years old. So when I went to the feds, I was in a cell with BG, Christopher Dorsey, for four years. And now BG meaning the rapper BG? Rapper BG. Wow. I yeah. bet you was you were locked up with BG. I just wrote I, yeah, I just wrote him like three days ago. Uh Pop Austin, they they sent it out for me. I, I gave him a letter and sent it out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I know how it is up there in the, up there in Kentucky. I was just in Kentucky, but he at the FCI. But I was in there with him, man. Uh, I started taking everything serious. But my grandma used to tell me that. She said, you a preacher, but you're a different type of preacher. Mm -hmm. You're a different type. You know I, hear, I hear it when you're speaking, man. I hear yeah. I hear that you got that, and I hate to draw this comparison. You got that Charleston White type of thing. Going, see, right? I don't see no whole meaning. Yeah, because you got it. It's like, it's said with conviction. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like almost like you're preaching. You know what I'm saying? I'd have some fans like, dang, you see the reconnect, uh, re reconnection you like, like, bro, like, you that hard. So I just take it. I don't take it in disrespect because I know what I'm doing for the community. I know what I'm doing for the voiceless. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to reach. The people that I speak for the people that scared or can't speak or don't want to speak. That's what, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, could you talk a little bit about being locked down with BG? Like, you know, BG, Cash Money, one of the biggest rappers in the game. Like, how does that, how does that change you? Well, BG trying to buy myself for 300 And when I say, get your fat ass on the, on the top buck. And I think <laughs> when I showed him my paperwork, I think, bro, it, I ain't gonna lie. If Lil Wayne, Justin Bieber, Timberland, uh, Ja Rule, even 50 Cent, uh, I think the foundation and the communication wouldn't have been the same. Okay. What well, makes you say that? Jizzle one of us. Okay. Jizzle, Jizzle really one of us, like... Like, Jizzle for the voice, like, bro, it don't matter if he got a hundred million or a million or a tour with the whole country, he gonna stay the same, bro. Like, bro, I ain't changed. Okay, he really bro, he don't care. He, he knows you showing realness because people from my city were trying to tell him, ah, oh, he was a jacker. Oh, he did this. He was like, man, them the type of I mess with. <laughs> when he changed my outlook, I made sure when I came home, bro, that I was gonna come home on a whole different ball game because I felt like my city was asleep. Over. Dallas was woke. Houston was woke. I was in tune. We had a phone. I'm in tune. What's going on? Ain't nobody from my city took the cord. Yeah. And I don't give a f. Man, let's go. <laughs> man, let's go, man. When I get out, man, I'm, man, I don't give a f. I just went home. Yeah. Because I knew the chips was going to be stacked against me because how hard and raw I am. Yeah. Yeah. So either people was going to. Hate me because I, I'm gonna air, they feel like I'm gonna air their dirty laundry because they can't think for me. They don't know what I'm thinking. And they done too much in front of me. I'm not worried about y'all. Y'all peasants. God got me on a whole different path. And I feel that path and I'm here in front of you. Yeah, yeah, nah, solid, solid. Straight up. Now, 